I'm at a consignment sale and I spied in the rows of all the machinery this 2623 disc. What we have here is a 2012 implement that's 30 and a half feet wide featuring walk and tandem axles and rolling baskets. But what really attracted my attention to this six year old deer disc is its great shape and that it would make a welcome addition to any farm. Deer designed this disc for tackling medium to heavy soils and the 30 and a half foot version of this 2623 is the most popular of the deer discs. What would be crucial to know prior to bidding on a disc like this is what to look for when inspecting it for wear and tear. To get some inspection pointers, I'm going to go talk to Tim Meyer of Steffes Auction, the firm holding today's sale. Tim, we were looking at that John Deere 2623. It really is in great shape. It's a 2012. That makes somebody a great tillage disc. Boy, Dave, you know, you picked an interesting piece there. First of all, you're right, it's a beautiful disc. It's 2012, it's got low acres on it. It's definitely a fall tillage tool. We're coming right into season here, uh, but that is something that a farmer has learned they can live without. And so that is an area that's softened up a little bit ahead of everything else with the commodity prices and where we're at. So Tim, you're telling me right now is a great time to buy used tillage equipment. It's a great way to look at it, Dave. You know, that disc new was in the 60,000 range, and that wouldn't have been retail. That probably what where you would have settled out, sitting in front of the desk next to the dealer. But uh, that disc, you know, and, and I know you're gonna cringe a little bit, but I'm hoping that disc brings at least in the low 20s tomorrow. Yeah. Um, 20, 25 will probably catch that disc. The downside of that disc is it's not a vertical tillage tool. Yeah. It's basically a fall only tool, which is very useful, but you know, People are tending to move a little bit more towards a vertical tillage tool because they can use it in the fall and the spring. Bang. Now, the question I have about that is when you're looking at implements, and that's a 2012, and it looked to be in great shape, what should you look for on wear and tear? I know there's a difference between a 12, 2012, and say a 2002 and a 2000, or maybe even a 1998 on wear and tear. Well, on the older models, you always want to expect the the disc blades. Um, you know what, call the dealer and find out what was the standard disc blade width of that when it came out new. Just run a simple tape across it and because a disc you really don't know what's not there. Right. So that's a good way and of course we're all looking for high residues so the bigger the disc the better advantages that you have. Next would be inspect it generally just for welds maybe that were put on it. Maybe there's cracks that need welded on it. Right. Those are all things and then you know bearings although they're really cheap they're a son of a gun to put in yes. and so inspect the bearings and make sure that uh, there isn't any play in them and, there, and there's not a lot of looseness there. Tires, of course, and, and things like that. The other thing that I really like to look at is the hitch. A hitch tells the story on an implement. It, you can tell by the hitch how many acres it's been over. So if it's got a lot of egging in it, make sure you take a look at some oh. other things. That's a good place to start and then venture out through the rest of it and, and, and it'll tell the, its own story. Well, thanks for that information, Tim. Let's watch that Deer 2623 sell. The final bid is in on our 30 and a half foot wide John Deere 2623. It brought 24,500. 
That makes it a great deal when I compared it to dealer asking prices I discovered online at Deere's equipment sales site, machinefinder.com. Similar age and with similar width, 2623s with rolling baskets were being listed for between $49,000 up to $66,000. Now, knowing such pricing information certainly gives you peace of mind when bidding at auction or negotiating on a dealer's lots. And you can get some free access to data pricing information. We now offer two free appraisals a month from the authority on equipment values, Iron Solutions. Used by banks, manufacturers, and dealers from across North America, Iron Solutions gathers actual dealer sales, auction prices, and wholesale transactions on farm equipment built in the last 20 years. Iron Solutions is the place that dealers go to to set trade-in offers and sale prices. Get your two free appraisals each month by going to agriculture.com slash what's it worth. I'll see you again next week on another Steel Deals Report. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video and click here to see more great videos.